natural hair isn't for everybody, not because of your hair, but because of your life. What's up, pepperoni homies? It's your girl, Lachelle, again, back with another curly combo. And if you're new here and you want to be a pepperoni homie, which you should, then you should definitely hit the subscribe button below. Today we're going to be talking about basically whether you should relax your hair or not. I'm going to have the time codes in the description box in case you want to skip ahead to a certain section. First, I'm going to dispel two myths about relaxed hair. One is that relaxed hair is the reason that you're not retaining length. Obviously, there's inherent damage with any chemical treatment that you choose to do on your hair, but a lot of people started taking care of their natural hair a lot better than they ever took care of their relaxed hair and so that's the reason that their natural hair is flourishing and their relaxed hair didn't. Two, relaxed hair is thin hair. So obviously there are extenuating circumstances where your scalp didn't like the relaxed hair. Otherwise to that your density is going to be the same whether your hair is natural or relaxed. So obviously it's going to look thicker when it's natural but you either have to sacrifice the appearance of length or the appearance of thickness. Okay, so let's jump right into the pros of relaxed hair. One, the biggest thing I miss about having relaxed hair is the five minute wash days. Half the time I would just co-wash my hair and throw some moisturizer through it and go. I went natural and I was like, bruh, the other day I spent an hour detangling my hair. Okay, it's not called wash hour or wash 10 minutes for a reason. With relaxed hair, it's in and out. Okay, two, relaxed hair is easier to manage. When I say manage, I mean you can just throw it up in a ponytail in a half a second and move with your life. And obviously there's the whole no shrinkage thing. If you don't like shrinkage, just put that relaxer through it, honey. No shrinkage. You're good. But, I mean, then you can't do this, right? I would definitely say it's an option, though. Anyway, the biggest thing for me definitely is the amount of time that it takes. Okay, so here are some reasons to go natural or stay natural if you're natural and you're considering it. If you have relaxed hair, you can't get a huge fro. Well, if you are like me and you just like to see your hair get huge, then relaxed hair may not be for you. Two, there is less versatility because with natural hair, you could do, um, you could have your hair curly or twist out or braid out or bantu knot out or you could have it, you could, you could um, flat iron it and have it straight. One more reason that you may want to stay natural is because of bleach. I would not have bleached my hair when it was relaxed simply because I could not bear to imagine dealing with two chemical treatments. Alright, and I bleached my hair two months after going natural. Anyways, it's a lot easier for me to deal with color treated hair natural than relaxed just because it's not two chemical problems and obviously as I said before chemical treatments are inherently going to cause some type of damage another reason to stay natural is that you don't have to go to the hair salon on a schedule because your hair just grows there's no new growth to like maintain you know even if your hair is bleached or colored you can have roots because people don't think that your hair is naturally bright red you know what I'm saying so, overall, natural hair isn't for everybody, not because of your hair, but because of your life. Like, if you have time for natural hair, or if you're willing to make time for natural hair, then you can definitely do that. But also, if someone chooses to relax their hair, then that's definitely a personal choice. It's not like natural hair is, like, superior to relaxed hair. It's just the choice. Do you want to have your hair relaxed, or do you want to have your hair natural? So... It's not like if you have relaxed hair, then that makes you, like, less black or whatever. Question.
question of the day. Do you prefer natural hair or relaxed hair and why? I, <laughs> I love them both. I love them both. I actually have a little analogy about them, about it, but um, I'm going to leave that for another time. <laughs> anyway, if you want to hear the analogy for some reason, um, let me know in the comments and I'll just put that in a video, like a really short video. But definitely give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button too. And I will see you in the next video.